good point. Yeah, I am terrific. <laughs> Speaking of terrific, uh, Donald Trump has uh, agreed to call in and share his thoughts on 9-11. Hey, Donald. Hello, Howard. It's a sad day, but you're one of those guys who said, you know, keep investing in New York, and people are doing it, right? Well, they are. It's never, uh, I don't think it's ever been better from that standpoint, Howard. I guess it has a lot to do with interest rates being so low, but... I don't know. It, it also has to do with the fact that people really want to buy a piece of the Big Apple, and they really do. It's never I've ne never really seen it like this to the extent. How, uh, we haven't come back, though, fully, have we? I mean, the, the tourism is off. A lot of business. Well, the hotel off. market is terrible in New York, which yeah. means that people can come, get a good bargain and all of that, and it'll change. The hotel market is terrible. The office market is pretty average at best, probably less than average. The condominium market and the residential market, though, is extraordinary. The condominium sales market for residential is, I would say, the best I've ever seen it. Because and of low interest rates? Well, I think it's that. I think it's the Enrons, you know, the global crossings where they don't want to invest in that garbage anymore. They're tired of it. They want to, you know, get something where they can feel it and touch it. Right. So they buy an apartment. Uh, but it's it's a lot to do with interest rates. It's a lot to do with the bad stock market where, you know, hey, a lot of people have made their best investment by buying shelter, by buying a house. Probably the most important question I can ask you on a day like today is where is Melania and is she naked? <laughs> well, Melania is now in bed. Yes. I'm in my office. Right. Uh, and as to whether or not she's naked, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> really don't know the enemy. I know, they're skulking around somewhere, and you just feel like you're a sitting duck. But we have an idea who the enemy is, and a lot of times the politicians don't want to tell you that. Are you for invading Iraq? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, you know, I wish it was. I, I wish the first time it was done correctly. Right. Are you still against rebuilding the World Trade Center? I'm not against rebuilding it. I guess the height thing. You know, what Cabby said is really true, though. Unless you're going to build buildings bigger and better. I looked at the proposals. I don't know if you saw them. They came out two weeks ago. They were terrible. Yeah. They were 50-story buildings. They were crummy-looking shapes. They, right. every, everything was wrong. Now, the city's not going to go for it. They, you know, I don't know how they did this, but they got down to one firm, and they said, you come up with an idea. They should go out and get the top 15 architectural firms in the world and come up with something spectacular. Absolutely. But, you know, unless you're going to go up that high or higher, it's never going to be the same. Did you oppose the war before the invasion in March of 2003? Yes, I opposed it all the time. Is there a record of that? You have to understand, probably, but listen, you have to understand, when I opposed it, I was a business guy, not a people who oh, no. aren't.